There are well over 100 cannabinoids known to be present in cannabis. One of the lesser known but totally up and coming cannabinoids is CBC or cannabichromine. Let's dive in. CBC is actually the second most prominent phytocannabinoid found in cannabis after THC. It is non-psychotropic and notably contributes to the therapeutic effects of the plant. Research has found CBC to be antimicrobial, as in it fights bacteria, and anti-inflammatory, particularly when combined with other cannabinoids. A 2010 study published in Drug Alcohol Dependence showed that when CBC was combined with THC, it provided an entourage effect, which led to a far greater anti-inflammatory response than using either cannabinoid alone. CBC is also helpful in reducing pain, though not as well as THC and CBD. And like other cannabinoids, CBC fights depression and is mood elevating. But one of the more incredible aspects of CBC is that it stimulates neurogenesis, or brain cell growth, as observed in a 2013 study on mice published in Neurochemistry International. By creating new neurons, CBC could be a hugely beneficial medicine for those suffering from neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's or Huntington's. Want to try CBC? Cannabichromine can be found in small amounts in strains like Maui Dream, Charlotte's Web, Purple Cadillac, Sour Tsunami, and Bubba Cookies. Are any of these your go-to strains already? Tell me in the comments and thanks for watching our show. My name is Brooke Bergstaller and I love you. Now follow us at Big Mike, enjoy some CBC, and have a gorgeous day, gorgeous.